Hi guys, today I want to recycle a Christmas bulb. I, this one used to be silver or white, don't know. I found it in the Christmas deck box where I keep the things that I don't use anymore. Uh, when I was looking for the miniatures wooden miniatures. I found it in there. Anyway, I wanted to try to decoupage some music paper on it. And I'm going to use the white one. See how that looks. I have the... I took this off. This was like this. And I took the the bow and the top part is a little kind of loose so I'm hoping when I put the paper all the way up to here. So the best way I thought this would work is if I tear the pieces and glue them on. So we'll see how that works. Uh, let me get the brush I've been using lately. And I thought maybe if I put this in something So that's what I'm going to do. Just um, going to go ahead and cut pieces off. Trying not to use that scallop edge it has. <clears throat> I don't know if is this my gosh yeah but this is the gloss the glossy one. I could use gel medium if I see that this is not holding on well, but let's see how my posh works. Thinking of my poshing this paper on and then Sprinkling on some kind of iridescent glitter. Oh, I like that. I'm starting to like the way it looks. So I was thinking of one way of recycling these uh, old Christmas bulbs is to uh, decoupage some paper on it. Um, this is tissue paper. I don't know. Maybe regular m music sheet paper would work. <coughs>
I'm holding on to it at the bottom, trying to press out as much as I can. fingers but I don't want to get them all you know full of glue Beginning to look. Don't know what is wrong with this. I need to. I'm going to dry that because I need to do the bottom part. Let me go ahead and dry this and I'll be back. can see the parts it needs. I, so here's a bare spot here. Nice and shiny. And I put the glue on and I can't see it. So right here. That's strange. And I'm going to pick up this glue that I dropped. I'll go ahead and cover the rest of the ball and dry it and be back to put some glitter and ornaments on it. Okay, so I, uh, I wasn't sure if I was recording. Uh, I gave it a glitter blast with this 
glitter spray from Kryon. I went outside and sprayed it. It has a a sealer, but. I'm not sure if it's going to need the sealer right now. So this is... It looks a little glittery. It's a very fine glitter. Very, very fine. And there are places where I don't see any. I don't know, I might go over it with some other glitter, I'm not sure. I'm going to glue the the top. I'm going to put some hot glue over it. I'm going to stop recording right now because the dog is barking too loud. So here I am. It's the next day because I couldn't finish this yesterday. And the, the glue is dry and I just attached this ribbon. <clears throat> I was gonna use the same one I had before. Thought I probably could, you know, use both, but it's got this uh, knot here that, so I've ended up using that one. So now I also wanted to use like a little red flower or something. What I do like is the look of a little bling up here. So I'm going to do that. It has a nice uh, glisten to it with that spray I used. <coughs> hadn't been able to record this morning because it's a holiday and there is no class, no school. So my neighbor is home. <coughs> and from past videos you know that I cannot record when she's home. I don't know what it is about her. When she doesn't talk, she screams. I don't know. I think that girl is about, she must be at least nine, but I don't know what her problem is. It seems like when she doesn't get her way, she throws these tantrums and starts crying and sounds like a wounded animal. I'm serious. And it must have been that she learned that well, she got her way, the first tantrum she she had, and she got her way, and there's no turning back. But at that age, I mean, unless she's really big for her age, she looks like she's nine or ten, who knows. And she doesn't talk, she screams, she hollers, and ugh. I have these, uh, I want to put flowers here, but I guess these are two. I don't know. They're kind of like two. Well, I don't know. This one is too small and the other one is too big. I have this uh, little angel here. Angel head but it would get lost because of the color. Let me look for some silk flowers. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. Is 
bit too big. I think it's too big. I'll use these. They're kind of, uh, I don't know, very light peach. So I'll go ahead and use these. So oh, these are so cute. I like the way the paper looks. And it looks so um, delicate and nice, clear. That little bling gives it a, a nice touch. So this is an idea for scratch Christmas balls or ones that have gone out of style or that you don't like anymore or you will just want to change. Just wrap them up in tissue paper or even a napkins or a gift wrap. I saw this napkin here. It's not a, oh, this napkin here, it's not a Christmas theme, but I just love the colors. I think a bowl wrap with this would look nice. So I might go ahead and try that. I also have the music paper in tan, or maybe book pages would look nice. So that's uh, my project for this Christmas bulb. I'll probably make some more, but off camera because it's got three little flowers there and a little bling here. <coughs> I did think about uh, adding something, a dangle or something, but I haven't gotten to that. So I hope you like this video if you do watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.